Hi, in this video I'm going to quickly show you two methods of getting a Great Britain IP address. First, I'll show you a free way, and second, a inexpensive way. There are uh, other ways to get an IP address, but we'll just put these two in for now. Okay, so the first one is free, uh, everybody's favourite price. Um, if you want a Great Britain IP address, one of the easiest ways to quickly get one is through using a proxy server, which uh, I'll show you now. Okay, now there's lots of free proxy servers uh, online, um, and I'm going to show you how to use these. Uh, this is a site called proxynova.com. And if you go to the uh, link proxy server list, there's a, a list of free open proxies all over the world. Right. Um, at this point, I should point out that they're not safe to use for anything that involves any of your usernames, passwords, credentials. Don't use these with your standard browsing. If you want to do something specific quickly, uh, fine. Um, they can be slow and they're not super safe. So please don't put anything um, like your, your passwords or anything on any sites when you're connected to these. OK, um, right. So. First of all, we've got to go through this all countries list and we'll scroll down to find the United Kingdom. Now, for some reason, I always have trouble finding there. It's it's listed as Great Britain between Gabon and Granada. Um, so we click on United Kingdom and then we can show we've got 40 um, proxy servers here. Now, these are uh, free proxies. They they could be left open accidentally or somebody's put opened them up just for goodwill to for people to use online. And some are cyber criminals who are putting them up online or hacked servers hoping you're going to put your username and password. So please, please be careful. Personally, I never use these, but it's an option. I'll show you now. OK, uh, now the two pieces of information you want to look at, uh, three really, uh, you can you can have a look at the speed here. Um, this is supposed to be the quickest. Um, so the the shorter the the response speed, the quicker it is. And you will want to might want to look at the location specifically uh, if that's important. See, most of them you'll find in London, but there's some in Bristol and different places there. Um, that's where your address location will resolve to if you use these um, servers. Uh, I wouldn't bother too much Elite and Transparent. Um, elite is supposed to keep your identity hidden behind the proxy server. Transparent is um, could let your um, identity be seen. So if you're trying to hide your location specifically, you're better off using an Elite or Anonymous server. Okay, and proxy IP is important. Now you'll need this piece of information, so you won't either need to cut, uh, copy this when you've chosen your chosen proxy and you need the proxy port and I'll show you where you need these two pieces of information shortly. Okay, now I'm going to show you in Chrome um, how to configure your proxy. So you go into the settings. Um, now most browsers, are, it'll be in somewhere similar. You go into the um, settings there and go to system and you'll find open your computer's proxy settings. Now these are system proxy settings for Chrome. Uh, Firefox has a slightly customized one. So these will basically affect the browser unless you override them. You need to go to LAN settings and you need to click that button and you need to type in the address of your proxy there with the, the four digit, uh, four numbers. And you need to put the port number that you copied from there so just to go back so that's 51897317162 port number 80 there 80 is a standard port there really uh, for web browsing and that's all there is to it you want to save that you have to save it click OK and come out of that menu and it's best to restart your browser and that will give you a UK IP address um, as I say please don't put any usernames or credentials some of them will try and steal your passwords and stuff. So don't put anything I've said. Personally, I don't use them. The second version is to use something called a VPN. Let me just close this down now. Now this does cost money, but not a lot. And it's a good way, it, it's a good way of getting a safe um, IP address. So I use something called NordVPN for 
uh, my British IP addresses. I use it primarily. Um, I am British, but I, I spend a lot of time abroad, and I use it mainly for BBC iPlayer and ITVX and different media sites. Uh, free proxies won't work with those. They're all blacklisted. But um, if you want uh, to use a proxy here, you can see this sits in my taskbar, and there's um, servers all over the world. So a VPN is very similar to a proxy, um, apart from it encrypts your internet connection, it also operates at a different level. Um, proxy servers operate at an application level, so it just affects the browser, whereas um, VPNs operate at, the, operate at the network level of a TCP IP stack and will affect everything. So any email you send or applications or software you use will go through um, the VPN tunnel. It's all encrypted, much, much safer does cost some money. Alas, everything in life, which is better, usually does. And here we do all we have to do is click on, uh, say, United Kingdom, and it will connect to a United Kingdom server. Let me just minimize that now. And if we go and start our browser, just to show you quickly, uh, if we go to my location, this is a, a, a sort of IP resolving site. So it basically simulates what sites do. So you can see this is gps-coordinates.org. I'll put it in the description below. Uh, it's handy to use to check the, do this with the proxy server as well, to check what websites see when they see your IP address. You can see mine is now registered in London. This is the address of the VPN server, not my real address. And that's effectively how you get an IP address. You either relay through a proxy or a VPN server, okay? And you can see that resolves through to London again. Um, many of the proxies of VPNs are through London. And that will give you, that means I've basically got a um, Great Britain IP address now. So any browsing I do will make it look as though I'm in the UK. Okay, right, I will finish now. And hopefully that's helped. So that's free proxy servers or an inexpensive VPN. Take your choice. Um, probably safer to use a VPN, but hey, it's free country. Uh, and I'll just finish there. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.